Take a look to this. From the lateral step, we go into the lunge, but after we will have one reverse turn, changing the position and opening into the line. Good. The reason why we like so much this combination is because normally when we are doing the lunge step, we will do it on the line. We are rotating after it, the follower with the left turn, with the left foot to the left, into a left turn. But now we want to do that the follower is rotating with the left to the right. Okay? And this is the new thing that we are doing here. The footwork, we will start with the lunge going into the line, so you have here the lateral. We will have the first step of the leader to the side. For followers to the front. The second step of the leader, we will go to the follower with the right uh, with the right foot in the diagonal and really with the energy of going through the follower. I have one more step to the front. And here we will rotate the upper body, we will go to the, other, the upper body of the follower, we will go to the other side of the line and a bit the feeling that we are following the follower. Yeah. We are opening on the line to the side. And we will not let that the follower transfer fully the weight. It will be like arriving and then coming back. And uh, this rotation you will lead with your upper body, bringing your upper body to the right, and you will need to like push a bit with your left, the frame of the follower on the right side of the follower here, and the right hand you have the feeling that you are painting a churn, okay, here to your left. For the followers I will take a little energy from the floor and I will do step back. Here again, I'm landing a little bit energy from the floor and step backwards. Mm -hmm. So we have the third step, we are arriving, and now we have the first step of the next atom. One more step bringing the follower to one side, and after that bringing the follower to the other side. We are keeping the frame, we are not hugging ourselves. And we open into the line. Yeah, The same we can show you from the other point of view. And you see, the first step, the second step, the third step, and now rotating. One more step, one more step, and opening into the line. Good. With head movements, we will use the cross system, so you will see Olia going with the right to the front, but the head will be on the left side. So if this is the lateral step, and now. For followers, we are opening our chest to the left side. Here, we are, we are bending the upper body to the right. Keeping one more step, head we keep on the, the left side. We keep the frame in the same position, and now we start to close a bit the chest of the follower. Head in front. We bring the follower into the chair. Head, we start to bring head to the right side. One more step. Head on the right side. And we change the position and we will change the diagonal, so you just need to bring this hand to the other side down. I'm going to the other side, just changing position of the head. And I, I'm not painting full circle from the back. Mm -hmm. the, the movement was more lineal. The movement Sorry. was more lineal. If the follower is there, we will want to bring the follower in a line here to the other side. And from here we have the turn. The hand is more or less in the same height of the uh, shoulder of the follower. We have the first step. The second step, the hand, the head is still staying on the side, and now we bring the hand down. Head in front. And depending on what we are doing here, we could bring, for example, the follower up. Or if leader gives you over leading, you can go to the left to the side. Yeah, it's depending a bit of the leading here, and if you don't feel any leading, you can choose for yourself the, the ending. Yeah, so let's show now from the other direction. We have the lateral step. And now, one, two, arriving a bit head in front, one, two, changing to the other side, one, two, opening into the line. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much.